I want to do a quick video for you guys. <clears throat> I just installed OpenSense and I want to do a quick video for you guys to show you one thing that I really like about its capabilities. There's a module you can install called NTOP. When you install this, it kind of makes it look like Untangle. One of the things I really liked about Untangle was the reporting. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install NTOP. It's extremely easy and it has a lot of data. Now, the reason why I really like it is because I can go back and look at all the logs that are going to be graphical and show me all the stats I want to know, like CPU spiking, the internet out and in, and all the alerts and stuff like that. That does that. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Here we go. We're logged into OpenSense. So what we need to do is click on System. Uh, configuration, I think it is. No, not Configuration. Uh, firmware. And then Plugins. And we'll type in NTOP. There it is. So it's called OS NTOPNG. We'll click it. doesn't take much time. Now, this is the reason, one of the reasons why I installed a 250 gig SSD in my protective box because I want to keep a lot of logs and these logs will eat up some space. My old box that I have on the R86S was really nice, but it didn't have much storage. That's why this one's perfect, right? More storage for logging. Didn't want to log, wouldn't be a problem. So that piece of software is installed, but there's another piece we have to install. So what we do is we go back to our lobby, click dashboard, let it refresh, or if we want, we can actually refresh the web page. Then we go to services and we'll see NTOP right here. Now it's not gonna work until we plug install Redis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna copy Redis. I'm gonna go copy. We'll go back to system. Uh, I always keep doing this wrong. Firmware, and then we'll go to plugins, and we'll look for this. And there it is, OS Redis. We'll just push plus. Now, first time a couple installed, I installed this, I had a couple issues, and then I clued into me that Redis has to be installed before NTOP will run. Learned that. So before I actually go through the wizard and set up NTOP, I'll just go into Redis and then turn it on. Just a quick check mark, pretty simple. Okay, as we can tell, it's installed. We'll click Lobby again, then Dashboard, so we can refresh all the menus because sometimes I've seen them not refresh, so I always do this. So we'll go Services, Redis. We'll enable it, and this is all we have to do. Basic configuration to get it going. It's good. We got a check mark up over here, or the green is ready to go. Let's just see if there's any red on the front here. Nope, we don't see any of those. So Redis is running in the background without any uh, is issues. Redis database is what it is. Now we go back to services, end top. We'll enable it. We'll click a port, so we'll go 3090, okay? Certificate, we have to click web GUI. Uh, DNS mode, we'll do the first one and just push save. This is where I got my issue. This service wouldn't start. It would go red and I couldn't figure out for the longest time, but then I realized that Redis had to be installed. So this should be running now. We'll go lobby, dashboard. We'll refresh the page just in case. And as you can see on the side here, all the services are running. So now how do we access it? We'll do the IP address. HTTP, might have to do S. So we'll go 172.16.10.1.3090, I believe, uh, or just 3000, one of the two. There we go. The default username and password, admin, admin, and then it'll push you to change that. So admin, admin, login, and this is where we're gonna change that now. And if you want to change the language, I'm going to keep it because English for me. Yeah. Change the password and we're in. It will push you through to a bunch of settings, but for now, it's starting to collect data. We can see that right here. So I'm going to go to interfaces, details, 
And then what we can do is we can click on this little guy up here. And I like to watch sometimes my traffic in and out. It's going to complain. We'll go dismiss. And if we go like this and go last five minutes, this will be on here. So what we have to do before, so it doesn't complain is go here and we just go Mac address. Okay. Uh, and then we have to go configure. Oh, I have to save those, but then we have to configure it because it's complaining about the DHCP scope list. And where was that? Now we have to go back because I can't remember where it puts it. Traffic dashboard. I can't remember where it was because it keeps, it's not directing me to configure this. It's just showing us where the errors are. That's not what I want. Here. After you've got that running, we can go on to the into the graphical menu here and see it's not going to show us much information because we just got this installed, but you can see you can go up to a year if you have the space. Remember, you have to have space for this. We got year, month, week, day, hour, five minutes and five minutes or 30 minutes and five minutes. So in the last five minutes, here's our peak. Now, if I do a speed test, We'll do two, one in, one out, and we'll show it. Nine seventy, and then we'll refresh or show more. And then it'll do the down or the upload. Should get the same up. Um, close, but. We can go back and look at our log or our graph. And you can see right here that it did it. So it's showing us our one gig, 1.05, 1.05. So it's showing us what it actually does. And this is what I really like because it's good for troubleshooting of what's going on the net. So that's a quick video for you guys, how to install this awesome little feature. And I believe there's a dark theme somewhere. Can't remember where it was. Oh yeah, I toggled a dark theme. There we go. Pretty simple before you had to do a bunch of other stuff. But look at that. Look at this information we can get from this. I'm going to, I'm not going to go into depth of this, but you guys can play with it and tailor it how you want, but that's just a quick little video of how to do this. So thanks for liking and subscribing. Make sure you go like and subscribe and add some comments down there too. And, uh, have a great day. See ya.